Hello there everyone, dink you do it's just me, Scotty McClure, it's Saturday afternoon, it's uh, just after two o'clock, and it was just really to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you who have donated to Scotty McClure's Jubilee Appeal Fund at GoFundMe. So there you are, very much appreciated. We're over £200. We just started it this time last week. I remember setting up the account, and you have been so fantastic. We have ended up with £200 already. Some of you have been incredibly generous. Never feel you have to give, never feel you have to give too much. But um, I think probably about a fiver seems to be quite good just for people who are passing on, pass on. Did you like that little bit of French there? Who thinks, I like Scotty McClue. He's given me a lot of pleasure over the years. I think I can bung him a fiver for his appeal fund. So that is always marvellous. So I've really just popped up to say hi. Forgive my casual attire. A far cry from last night when uh, I'd been out speaking at a dinner and I thought I would come in and just have a quick word with you. And uh, I notice you've all been looking at that this morning. There I was, well turned out, band box, bow tie, the full bit. So this is really just a quick Saturday afternoon appeal to say thank you, thank you, thank you. For those of you who haven't a clue what I'm on about, if I can explain to you, I'm Scotty McClue, known as the world's top broadcaster. I'm a global broadcaster and I broadcast live at uh, 2200 hours Greenwich Mean Time, 10 o'clock sharp on a Sunday night right here on Facebook Live. I'll probably do you a small promotional video tomorrow just to remind you all, but that's just to let you know what's happening there. Steve McKenzie's watching, Richard Frediani's watching, Marcy Puffin's watching, Gary Crossley's watching, Jim Robbins watching, Angie Thompson's watching, Mike Lawrenson is watching, and Paul McGregor is watching. My goodness me, where have you all come from, I say. So uh, last night I popped up and did a Friday night special just off the top of my head, uh, as as I always do, really. It's always off the top of the head. But this week we've recorded a video about funding for the programme. Now, it's not just for the programme. The funding would be to buy little bits of equipment, cameras, perhaps um, a profanity device or something like that for anybody who's coming on and might want to use a naughty word, we can always edit that out. Little bits of equipment like that, but also, you'll see I've set the bar quite high. I've set it at £5 million. Now, that's not a lot commercially nowadays, but what it would do, it might allow us to look at um, any media assets that became available at a relatively low price. And as you know, Scotty McClure has got a track record in all that, over the last 30 years, running radio stations, building up audiences, making millions of pounds for media muggles. So that happens to be my particular little talent. Um, Angie Thomas is watching, Mike Lawrence is watching, Paul McGregor is watching. Good day from Sydney, says Morsi. Good day, Morsi. Lovely to hear from you. And uh, she's in Sydney and Australia watching this right now. It's fantastic. It really is. So we are actually global. I had a half-witted idiot saying to me, um, you know, any proof, any proof, you're global. And of course, people are watching in Sydney and Australia. People are watching in Ireland. They're watching in Russia, China, Japan, America, Canada, anywhere you like. Uh, Chris Max watching. That is fantastic. So, as I say, folks, Scotty McClue, capital S, small c, o, double t, i, e, McClue, capital M, small c, capital c, l, u, e, really just popping up to say thank you, thank you, thank you for your very, very thoughtful and kind donations to the GoFundMe account. Now, if you go on to www.gofundme and then Scotty McClue, put in the Scotty McClue show, or even Scotty McClure, but I think the Scotty McClure show, if you put that into GoFundMe, the search bar in GoFundMe, then it will pop up and you will see we are already at £200. Fantastic. Thank you very much. As I say, some people have been incredibly generous. But if you can stick a fiver in, if you think, yes, all McClure's worth a fiver, and we all did that, then we'll reach our goal a lot sooner and a lot quicker. So that would be marvellous. Uh, I can't sleep. 
Lol, it's half one. It's great to hear you, mate, says Morsi. <laughs> great to hear you too, Morsi. Uh, there's math and a hair. Yes. Hi, Scotty. I'm watching and listening while driving from London to Leaven in Fife. I take it you're not at the wheel, of course. You are a passenger. A passenger in the motor car. That's fantastic. Uh, so there you go. <laughs> Can't sleep. I love it in Australia. All the best, Scotty, from Lossie Mouth, says Cameron Filson. I know Lossie very, very well, Cameron. And uh, the Scary Bray there, tremendous, watching the sun go down over the Murray Firth, looking up over the Black Isle and over to Sutherland and all that. Kind of, oh, don't, don't. It's heartbreaking, heartbreaking. I'd love to be sitting in Lossie Mouth right now. I bet the local lads are jumping into the harbour and doing all sorts of what I would call dangerous, dangerous stunts. But of course, they've been brought up with it. Fantastic stuff. And I've seen them do that, bombing into the harbour up at Lossie Mouth and the Silver Sands and, oh, and the wee road into Elgin and, oh, lovely, lovely stuff. Now, William says, if he bumps me off, you can have half my insurance money. Now I've grew eyes in the back of my head, says Angie Thompson. I love it, folks. Great banter. There's Derek McIntyre watching. Now, Derek McIntyre is one of the country's great broadcasters. So if you get a chance to hear Derek McIntyre, I don't want to speak out of turn, but I think he's at your radio. So there we are, your radio. So look that one up and look up Derek McIntyre, a very fine broadcaster. Superb, I'm looking at the scaries now, says Cameron. Ah, oh, lovely. How's your weather, Cameron? Is it? It's quite good for a long-distance weather forecast, Lossy Mouth, because you can I look in all directions and you can see, aye, they're just, yes, wondering, just coming over Hopeman there, you know, a wee bit <laughs> wonderful. Dave Hemsey's watching. Yes, and of course, Lossy Mouth, the birthplace of the great Ramsay MacDonald, GRM. As he was a fine fellow in his day was Ramsay MacDonald and the first Labour Prime Minister. I don't know what he would think of Scottish Labour now. They've virtually annihilated themselves. The link's on your website, Scotty, says Jim Robin. How fantastic. So if you go to Scotty's website, www.scotty-mcclue.com, you will see the link to go fund me. And if you can do that, if everybody can stick in, say a fiver or a pound, whatever you can give, 50 quid, 100 quid, 250 quid, 500 quid, 1,000 quid, 50,000 pounds, a million pounds, anybody? Anybody up for funding Scotty McClure for a million pounds? 36,000 hours of live unscripted broadcasting, 35 radio stations, four ITV stations. I don't know. See how you go. Um, it's bloody roasting here, says Morsi. This, of course, is in Australia. So there you go. Fantastic. And um, Cameron says it is passionate doon. Passionate doon. I don't know if that's to do with, like, passion. Matters of the heart. But it's passionate doon in lossy mouth. Jerry Carty is watching. Dinky do, Jerry. Lovely to hear from you. This is just a flying visit, folks. Last night, if you look for me with an aubergine bow tie... And a striped jacket. Now, those of you who are very, very in the know will know what the striped jacket represents. Check the colours out, but you need to be very in the know. So there we are. And uh, also, can I say, you'll see me with a blue jumper. There's two videos. One was recorded last Saturday. I'm wearing a tie. The other one, I'm looking a bit cash, a bit cash. Open neck shot, bit like today. I do apologise for my attire, you know, because I like to dress, because it's a mark of respect for you lot. But um, if you uh, if you go on and check these videos, it'll tell you the whole story and save you asking lots of questions over and over again. So FAQs, frequently asked questions, should virtually all be answered uh, about donating in the uh, the two videos with the blue jumper so check these out of course and uh, mossy's just shared the video can everybody share this video and guys i'm quite serious can you get stuck in even a couple of minutes of your very valuable time to share everything that's got scotty mcclue on it 
And if you really, really can't give anything to the GoFundMe campaign, the Jubilee campaign, 25 years this year, Silver Jubilee of Scotty McClue on the radio and telly just for you, dinky-doo. If you really can't give anything, go on anyway, click the link and share it, and share it, and share it. And when you do donate, it also says, get three of your mates to donate as well, and share it on Twitter and on Facebook. If you are on Twitter, if every single one of you has got a Twitter account, can go on Twitter right now, look up at Scotty McClue, all one word, and uh, follow me. That would be tremendous. Uh, so there we are. And uh, who else have we got? Oh, David Hemsley is there. And he's not in uh, Yorkshire. He's not in Lancashire. He's in Staffordshire. Am I right, David? Have I got that right? To the rest of you, I say dinky-doo. A very good afternoon to you. You're watching Scotty McClue. We're live on Facebook Live. Just to let you know, I will be live with you, God willing, weather permitting, 10 o'clock sharp tomorrow night. 5 o'clock, I think that is, in the United States of America. And uh, if you'd like to uh, donate, then go to GoFundMe, www.gofundme.com forward slash the hyphen Scotty hyphen McClue hyphen show. So that's gofundme.com forward slash the hyphen Scotty hyphen McClue hyphen show. Okay, bit of fun there for you. So if you do that, um, When's the missus going to say hi, or is she awfully shy? Darling, are you wanting to have a lot with the nation? Not just now, apparently, no. So there we are. She's busy. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing, but she's busy. Uh, so there we go. Surprised you're not watching the Six Nations, says Louis Faber. Louis, how do you know I'm not watching the Six Nations? I'm surrounded by television screens and by all the latest broadcast equipment here, so I might well be watching the Six Nations. What I do know is, apart from the Six Nations and one or two other bits and pieces, I think Scotty McClure and Facebook Live is the new television. I'm surprised you're not watching it, Louis, down in London there. And um, you certainly have, Scotty. See more, says Dave. Wait a wee minute. This is Dave Hemsley. Have I got it right, I said to Dave. And he said, you certainly have, Seymour. Oh, I can't. I can't. It won't let me. Will it let me? No, it's not letting me. Oh, uh, Canuck, the way forward. Yes, Canuck, Canuck Chase, all that sort of thing. And um, Angie says she's catching up with EastEnders, the missus. Ah. Jim Robin, East Coast USA, five hours. West Coast USA, eight hours. So if you're in the East Coast of the USA, you will be on Eastern Standard Time. That means that you'll be five hours behind. And uh, if you're five hours behind, you will be having your tea at five o'clock when Scotty McClure goes live tomorrow night here on Facebook Live. Make sure you're watching and tell everybody. And guys, is it possible to set up your Facebook with alerts to say, let me know when Scotty McClue is live. If you can do, that would be great. <clears throat> I listened to you back in the day, Scotty. Some fun discussions back then, and a lot of folk getting cut off. Yes, we got through 460,000 calls in one week, a record of telephone calls to a radio station that's never been surpassed. And of course, as it's well known, we shorted out the network for Central Scotland, and the telephone company had to fix it, free of charge, not to them, to us. Dave Sherry's watching Dinky Doo, Dave. Depends when the daylight saving is changed, says Louis. Hey, you're quite right, that was a very, very fair point, so there we go. Uh, anyway, I've no doubt that the American people, it's not beyond their wit and wisdom to work out if it's uh, 2200 hours Greenwich Mean Time, 10 o'clock sharp in this country, and uh, I don't think it's beyond their wit and wisdom to work out uh, when their time will kick in in the United States of America. Mossy says, not fair, because I'm at work, 11 a.m., when are you on Sunday night? No, we're on uh, 10, Marcy, so 
you should be uh, at work at 10 o'clock. And uh, have you got Saturday or Sunday there at the moment, Morsi? And uh, you should be at work at 10 o'clock when I'm going on air because I think Australia, uh, apart from the West, uh, you're in uh, Sydney. So um, I'm not right in thinking that uh, you're a complete reversal of UK time. So 10 o'clock in the morning here is 10 o'clock at night with you and vice versa. Vice versa. So there we go. And uh, also Sunday morning here, says Morsi. Ah, so you've got Sunday morning already. So you could say that you're actually ahead. Are you at, uh, you will be at, wow, so are you not at two o'clock in the morning there, Morsi? Something like that, half past two in the morning. <laughs> you did tell me, but it's gone up, it's scrolled up, and I can't actually see. Anyway, I'd better push off. As I say, I just popped up to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who has donated on GoFundMe. We've got over £200. If every single one of you sticks in a fiver, for starters, then the big spenders can join us as and when it suits them. If you really can't afford anything, do not panic. Click the link anyway and share it on Facebook and Twitter. Get the word out there. I've set the bar high. I've set it at £5 million, but... I know you guys, and we will do it. It might take a bit of time. It might take a bit of pulling and shoving, as they used to do with the old uh, the old donkeys. But uh, <clears throat> we will get there. I can assure you, this program will be fully funded. Pop on to GoFundMe. That's the best way to do it. Stick in the Scotty McClue show, and I shall pop up. Also, as uh, Jim Robin very kindly reminded us, the link is in the front of Scotty's website if you're stuck, www.scotty-mcclue.com. Yes, it's half one, says Morsi. Morsi, you should be in your bed. <coughs> Wonderful stuff. Oz clocks go back when ours go forward too, says the very wise Jim Robin, a man of great wisdom. David Lee Weir is watching Scotty McClue right now, dinky-doo. Can everybody have a share? Can we have a share? That would be marvellous. And uh, you will see I was on last night. I popped up last night about uh, half past 11 and was on till half past midnight. I'd been out speaking at a dinner and I decided I'd have a word with the world when I came in. Fantastic stuff. So, again, thanks for donating. If you're just about to donate, please do so. And I shall, of course, thank you and I shall share it and I shall send you a little thank you message at GoFundMe. So that'd be wonderful. If you've all just shared, that is absolutely tremendous. I'm here for two more minutes, and I'm getting so much wisdom from you guys. This is marvellous. I'm never sure if there's any great optimum time. Obviously, we know the Sunday nights are on uh, because people are used to it now, but uh, I wonder if there's an optimum time to broadcast live on Facebook Live. Who knows? Fantastic stuff. I'm just seeing if I can do, there we are, tiny little bit yeah, of change in the lights there. I saw you sharing posts at three in the morning. Do you ever sleep, Scotty? I probably was asleep, Louis, and I'd just be sharing them in my sleep. <laughs> right, uh, we do have a lot to do. You know, there's plenty to be doing, so I am uh, up and about. And remember, <coughs> this is just a percentage of my work. I do a vast amount of other things, but there we are. But the kind of people that tell you how hard they work, I get thoroughly fed up with them. So I just explain to them, that I've never done a hands turn in my life. And uh, any weeknight at nine, people are usually free. Winding down at that time, says Stephen Harris. Very brilliant Stephen Harris. Roddy Martin is watching. A fine fellow, dinky-doo to you. Roddy Martin, we must meet up sometime and swap ideas and chat, Roddy. I think that would be fantastic. Uh, so you think nine o'clock at night, should McClue change his Sunday night till nine? <clears throat> A lot of people like it at ten, but uh, do tell. I mean, I'm always up to suggestions. Guys, remember this is in its infancy. We're just building now. 
when we get funding starting to flow in and pour in from your good selves, we can look at different platforms. Uh, I won't go into that too much at the moment, but we can look at all sorts of benefits here. And uh, do you remember 96.3 Rock Radio a few years ago? Yes, I was twice on the original 96.3. I was on Q96 and I was on Q. FM, fantastic station, and uh, I believe that uh, the license was handed back and it's been reissued to a rock station. So there you go. Angie says nine till eleven, two hours. She's wanting. Ooh, you're getting a wee bit greedy there, Angie. At uh, ten p.m. Saturday, then I'd get it at nine a.m. Sunday. Says Morsi in Sydney in Australia. An hour flies in when you're getting dafties on that Skype thing. Says Angie Thompson, yes, but a lot of people like the Skype. Well, maybe take a vote. Uh, vote if you'd like the Skype. I'll put it, I'll tell you what, I'll do a Twitter poll for those of you that are on Twitter. Yes, XFM, now on 96.3. Is that the same lot, Louis? Are you sure you're up to date? <clears throat> Just check that and see that you're definitely up to date. I think XFM did. And um, then it's now a new group that I've got it. But I was always quite happy to be corrected. Gary Moyle's watching. Dinky do to you, Gary. Lovely to hear from you. Right. It's time I pushed off. Have a lovely, lovely Saturday afternoon. I'll see you all at, um, <coughs> pardon me, at 10 o'clock sharp tomorrow night. And we will get down to some serious brass tacks. Meanwhile, if you can get on GoFundMe and make a donation, that would be superb. Fiverr, fantastic. 20 quid, fabulous. 25, fabulous. 50, fabulous. 100, fabulous. 200, fabulous, etc., etc. A million quid, wonderful. That gets us on the move. But we will make our target, guys, because that's how good you people are. Get your act together. Get your card out. Go to GoFundMe and uh, make McClure a wee gift in his jubilee year, 25 years of broadcasting. See you tomorrow, Scotty, and away for to get the messages in. Do you mean the messages on Facebook or get the messages as in Scotland? I always think, do we go on an errand or in Scotland, do we run a wee message or do we go down the street for the messages? What's the donation for, Scotty? Stephen, it's for um, looking at bits of equipment for the programme. Now, everything, Stephen, is explained. If you go on to GoFundMe, go me, go me, you will see me in a blue jumper and blue shirt talking on a video. That will explain the lot to you. Also, if you haven't time to watch the video, the narrative will tell you all about it. If you have any questions, come back to me, Stephen. So there you are. Uh, but we're only looking for a fiver or 50 grand, whatever you've got to spare. Angie says, shopping. Of course, I knew that, Angie, the messages. I'm away down the street for the messages. That's a Scottish thing. Michael Collar's watching. Dinky do, Michael. A fine fellow. <coughs> now, uh, shall I sing to you just for a laugh? Yes, why not? Okie dokie, says Stephen. Thanks, Stephen, but it's all there. There's no point in me explaining it all because I popped up midweek and did a video and you can hear everything on there. It's called GoFundMe, the video. Oh, by the way, there's been a slight change on YouTube. So if you want to catch up with Scotty McClue on YouTube, get yourselves on to, um, well, get yourselves on to Google and put in Scotty McClue YouTube channel. And that's you there. How difficult is that? Not. And 12-0 uh, for Scotland, says Louis Faber. Excellent stuff, Louis. Thanks for keeping it. Oh, 14 now, says Louis Faber. 14-0 for Scotland. Very, very good. Excellent, Louis. Thanks for keeping us up to date. I shall go and have a wee look at it and uh, put my feet up for 10 minutes. Guys, if you can share and share and share that's very much appreciated. I know I do quite a lot of sharing, and you must get a little bit fed up. I understand it, but it's important. So there you go. And uh, as I say, if you can see to go fund me, Scotty McClure, I shall see you tomorrow, dinky do. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take.
care everybody as you go. Goodbye everybody, a wheat or zen au revoir, and a cheerio. Dinky do. Have a lovely Saturday afternoon, loves. See you tomorrow night. Scotty McClure's left the building.